In the previous video, I used the painting process to assign elements from one take of item to another take of item uh, to correct possible incorrect, uh, incorrectly applied naming uh, to those elements. It's also possible to reassign uh, surfaces of the elements. For example, I have a, a, a slab element that, due to its shape, has a, a top surface area that you actually would like to include, include in the uh, edge surface area. Now, with the take of quantity painting process, that is possible. So you can assign that uh, top surface area to the side surface area and recalculate that dynamically. So this video, I will explain how you can use the painting process uh, also to, uh, to correct uh, the, the take of quantities. After using the painting process on elements in the previous video, I'm now going to use the painting process on surfaces. So we're going to use the take off quantity paint mode. With that painting process, we select surfaces of uh, an element and assign that to a different take off quantity. I will also show how you can create a new take off quantity and then assign a surface to that new take off quantity to generate the quantity value from a piece of geometry in your model. In the previous video I already showed how you can uh, open the takeoff item to reveal the takeoff quantities that are calculated and those takeoff quantities is what we're going to edit with the takeoff quantity paint mode now. So let's take a look at this slab on grade and uh, isolate that in the 3D view. And when I select the net top surface area, you can see that these are this is the uh, the area of that uh, object that is being used to calculate the net top surface area. So what I can do now is uh, go in uh, 3D view ribbon and select the painting mode and with the net top surface area selected you can hover over this element and as you can see now not the entire element but parts of the element are being highlighted or pre-highlighted really. So when I left click that surface area is removed from the net top surface area value and as you can see it went from 11,000 something uh, down to zero and it also shows an exclamation mark now to indicate that one of the elements in this takeoff item, in this case only one, uh, does not contribute to the net top surface area value. If I want to correct that, I can go in and uh, use the same painting tool to, uh, to paint that area back to the selected takeoff quantity. I'm hovering over the element and I'm finding the polygon or the surface that I want to include I left click and it is reassigned back to the takeoff quantity. In addition to assigning a surface to another takeoff quantity, I can also create a new takeoff quantity. So maybe I want to isolate a part of an element or a set of elements uh, because it requires a different type of form work or it requires a different number in my cost plan. And if I want to do that, I select my takeoff item and I then go into the takeoff manager ribbon and select new takeoff quantity. That adds a new empty takeoff quantity to my list that I can uh, rename. So let's say this is a uh, special type of phone work. Uh, the quantity initially is zero. Let me isolate the takeoff item again. Then I'll zoom in a little bit to see the edge that I want to paint and I select that new takeoff quantity it changes into a paintbrush and now I can pick the edges that I want to include in that takeoff quantity so I left click and it then dynamically calculates the new value and it highlights whatever I have included so this special form work now contains 10.1 square feet In this video I use the takeoff quantity paint mode and with that paint mode I removed a surface from a selected takeoff quantity. 
that takeoff quantity went to zero and it gave me an exclamation mark to indicate that a quantity value or a quantity contribution was missing from one or more elements. I then assigned it back to the takeoff quantity by using the same painting procedure. I also created a new takeoff quantity and assigned one of the surfaces of an element to that new takeoff quantity and as a result the quantity was calculated using the surface area of that particular surface in the element.